Bit of a long intro, but that's all right. Uh, it's another beautiful sunny day here in uh, Toronto, but it is freaking cold. It's like minus four degrees Celsius. And it was a big drop from uh, the past few days uh, when, when we had like, what, five degrees plus weather. Uh, yesterday was warm too, but uh, it just, it just, uh, <laughs> the temperature just dropped and here we are back in the true cold uh, winter weather, I guess. Well, I mean, there's no snow, but it doesn't matter. It's the end of February and uh, it's, uh, it's still officially winter. So, I mean, uh, what gives? But anyway, we're here at, uh, we're here on Queen Street East in the Riverside District. Just got off the 501. Again, uh, another gorgeous sunny day. February has been hitting the spot with uh, clear sunny skies which I absolutely love. It's just the only downside is because, you know, today is uh, freaking cold. But uh, it's been a while since I filmed a walk on uh, Queen Street East, so we're going to do just that, mostly through uh, the always interesting and charming Leslieville neighborhood. I wanted to start... I decided to start a few blocks east of Broadview Avenue, which is just behind me. In fact, we were just east of the downtown core, so... Uh, I mean, I, I mean, again, uh, I wanted, to, I want to try and get more walking videos in, especially that, uh, you know, it's just so nice outside. Days like this make me really, really happy. So, uh, here's the grassy street. I, I wanted to film a walk on this street for a while, but it's just too short. But I can see why it's, uh, it has a cultural significance on uh, the old the grassy uh, series. And we'll, and now we're walking. Um, under a Metrolinx rail corridor that's served by GO commuter trains and VIA rail trains. And this is also going to be served by the Ontario Light Metro Line. In fact, they have partially demolished uh, this bridge. Okay, not really, but uh, they, there used to be train tracks uh, running through here. And they're going to make space for the Ontario Line. I think they're going to have a station right here at uh, Leslieville. And here's the... Uh, Jimmy Simpson Recreation Center. I know it was an old elevator in there, but uh, I don't really want, I don't really feel like going inside. But yeah, brand new rapid transit station coming right here. And uh, remember, most of, the, most, of, uh, most of our transit projects here in Toronto are being built by Metrolinx, which is part of the government of Ontario. You know how, you know how well they've done in, uh, <laughs> in uh, time management and reliability. Well, they've been reliable um, with the Ontario Line, a little bit of Finch West. Obviously, it could be better with uh, Line 5, but it doesn't matter. Uh, they're building a light metro line, very similar to the REM in Montreal. I'm not sure why they even classify it as a subway line. In fact, I initially disliked uh, the technology that, that they would be using when... Uh, when it opens, but after riding the REM in Montreal, like the first day it opened, I was immediately immersed by it. So uh, this is this is really what uh, the Ontario Line is going to look like. If you go online and check out the renderings, it looks so futuristic. So I really cannot wait for it. Of course, uh, this is going to be a futuristic line of the Scarborough RT because the RT uh, was from the 1980s and the. And uh, before it closed, it was still using all that original outdated technology that uh, that was very that was very expensive to maintain and refurbish and all that uh, freaking uh, hullaboo. But is that, is that how I pronounced it? But uh, we are getting our line three back anyway. So uh... so last time I filmed the walking video through here. Actually, it might have been further down, all the way to Woodbine or Coxwell. But specifically through here, in the heart of Leslieville. It might have been back in... Oh, I'm just getting a cousin... I'm just getting a text message from Cousin Emily here. Oh. Cousin Emily. Alright. Oh, uh, Emily, I'll have to get back to uh, your message. In fact, uh, we were supposed to... Uh, we were supposed to meet up yesterday downtown but she had a bit of an emergency so she had to postpone it to next saturday but uh if i could read that right i think she wants to meet me again but probably for like a family thing 
Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get back to your message. I obviously can't do it right now. So there's some very nice, charming little shops and restaurants here in Leslieville. And there's the 505 streetcar. Hold on, why the hell is it here? Why? Oh yeah, because they're doing some water. They're, they're doing some uh, emergency water main repairs at Broadview and Girard. They recently just reinstated streetcar service to friggin' uh, Broadview Station. But then it was earlier this week that uh, the TTC and city announced that they would be doing emergency water main repairs on Broadview. So that has put a, I mean, that's partially put a kibosh on uh, on uh, streetcar service back to Broadview and Danforth, which is a big shame. So the 505, I mean, I don't know, I don't even know where the hell the freaking 505 is ending at. Because I know... I know during the Broadview construction, the 505 turned all the way at Kingston and Woodbine, but for some reason, I think it's uh, it's going along here on Queen. There's a very there's that very small value village. Got these colorful uh, benches here. And by the way, I didn't even do the usual intro and spin the, the phone around because it was a long ass intro. But uh, here I am uh, being a true Canadian course and wearing that, that, that uh, freaking uh, winter coat. I mean, it's suitable when it's like below freezing, but I kind of wanted to get another new coat and not this freaking army, uh, army type thing. It's what the military would always wear. This streetcar is probably heading to Russell or Leslie Barnes. Though this was still 2020, I would definitely try and catch a catch a few uh, dead CLRVs in the in the lot. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it's been over four years since uh, since they've uh, died. At some point, I am going to cross to the other side. Maybe at car law. Speaking of which, there it is. Oh, maybe not car law. Probably tape. As the banners say, welcome to Leslieville. And I wonder what this place used to be here. Probably an automotive shop. So yeah, by the way, guys. Uh, not sure if I could count this as an announcement. But uh, you know how I've... Uh, how you know I always do what I like to do, do what's best for me. Because you know, right now I'm filming this with the phone, and other and uh, better weather, I would film this with a camera. And with the Panasonic, I also filmed that for transit rides. Well, I'm thinking for the walking videos, especially like for the rest of the winter, I'm thinking of getting a uh, selfie stick. And I looked one up online. I forgot the manufacturer, but uh, it looked pretty good, like 19 bucks. Um, you guys, if you, if, if you guys have been watching my videos for over three years now, uh, if you go back to my older videos, I used to, uh, put, uh, put the phone, well, not this one, I had an iPhone SE 2, I put that on a gimbal, a, it was a DJI Osmo Mobile 3, and those are the gimbals that a lot of the live streamers use, like, you know, Johnny Strive, the Ken Continuum, Toronto Tech and Transit, actually, I think, I think Henry uses a different, uh, different gimbal, isn't the Moza Mini X or something like that? Anyway. Uh, I was I was very I was very wary of using the gimbal after like like after like uh, the first 20 30 videos and that was like back in 2021 that was because of safety issues because you know even though you're in public I feel like the gimbal is just gonna spark more reactions and uh, most of them negative negatively I mean yes it does provide a lot of more stable footage it's not bouncing it down it's not it's not even shaking also not forget not to forget that uh, you know the you know, I'm filming this with a phone. It's a lot more stable um, than using the camera because it tends to shake a lot. But since I put that warning up, uh, none of you guys have uh, bitched and complained about it. So, uh, but uh, I am going to get a selfie stick. And maybe uh, from now on with the phone, when I'm filming these walking videos, I will probably uh, use it on the selfie stick. And it's going to be a lot smaller than the big ass gimbal that I use. Now, by the way, I did use that gimbal back... Uh, three weeks ago during the uh, 
NHL All-Star fanfare. Um, because, you know, it was crowded and stuff. Normally, I don't film any videos in crowded places, but I did anyway, because it's like a once-of-a-lifetime. Here's Boston Street. Boston. I want to go to Boston. It's very nice, uh... Here's very nice in, uh... Sorry, hey. It's, it's a very nice, uh... Very nice city. A lot of European like architecture with an old ass subway system. Yeah, I definitely want to get over to Boston uh, at some point. All right, I've had enough of being here on the south side. Let's go over to the north side at Pape Avenue. But who knows how? Who knows how long I'm gonna have to wait here for? Like, jeez. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do an unboxing video of it like I did with the, the, when I got, when I first got my Panasonic. I'll think about it. And then I'm supposed to get it within the next week. So once I do get it, I'll be, I'll definitely be eager to uh, check it out. I, yes, I'm still going to be using the camera to film my walking videos, you know, do it like the old school way. But, oh, but, you know, you know, lately, you know, when I want, if I want to become a... A great vlogger, a great YouTuber. Sometimes things have to be in perfection, but you know, but as I always say before, I'm not perfect at what I do. I love what I do, but but it's really not the best. And especially the fact that you're not looking at a freaking CP24 or CBC telecast, or you're not watching the other guys that I, you know, that I watch sometimes, and you know, they always film in freaking 4K and stuff. I feel like 4K, 4K is beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. I love viewing 4k videos on, on my on my 4k tv like you know sometimes i got johnny or the ken continuum or whatever pulled up but i feel like it just consumes a lot of energy with the, the camera this is why right now i'm filming this in uh 10 1080 uh 60 frames per second and uh in a high dynamic range so if you if you guys have like any like feedback or uh uh like how I'll, or what are you, or your thoughts on like how it may may change a bit of my filming style just let me know in the comments I just said I film like I've been filming a lot of like walking vids with the phone in the winter because the, the camera does not do it well in the cold as you guys know already but I still use the camera of course you know like shoot kick you know to shoot like zoom in like different objects like the random clips or buses or rides or whatever a couple of new places have sprung up and new developments like this one here I don't know if it was here it might have been around here where that mother of two or three was innocently gunned down she was just attacked by a stray bullet last summer. It was very, very, very heartbreaking. Like, words can't even describe how... How, uh, what's the word? How fucking imaginable it might have been if you're close to that person or the family and the kids. Let's see what's behind. Brooklyn Avenue! Brooklyn! I want to go to Brooklyn, too! New York City, here I come in the spring. I wonder if any of these people that live on the mystery have been to Brooklyn as well. well. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely gonna get over. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna get my ass over to Brooklyn. Where a lot of hip hop was founded, Jay's like 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 I think I don't think it was B.I.G., right? Notorious B.I.G. And I think later on Jay Z and Nas And so forth. But also here, Brooklyn got some good uh, pizza as well. I've seen a lot of these uh, documentaries, these pizza tours around Brooklyn. Looks very, very good. I cannot wait to get over to New York City. But I may have to make a little announcement about that because I may not be doing a whole lot of filming there, so... Got light blue and pink. 
Bambi. There's the 503. Wow, look at this. I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind any tourists to come and visit Leslieville. It's a very nice, uh, charming neighborhood, but it's not as touristy as, uh, West Queen West or the Fashion District. And I think I'll end this up at Leslie Street. And then I'll just take the streetcar back into downtown. But it doesn't matter what route because it's still going to take me to where I want to go. I'm thinking I'm just going back to the Eden Center. Maybe I'll get something to drink there. You know what I haven't had in a while? I haven't had a lint chocolate drink. I don't like the warm drinks. The cold ones are always the best. And they're always like five bucks, so. Okay, let me just let, uh, let, me just let him go by. There's a nice mural here. Leslieville. I love the murals here in Leslie, though. It's very nice. Very, very nice. It just never lacks anything, like art and stuff. Okay, let me see if... I gotta make the text small when I edit in uh, Adobe Photoshop. I mean, I got two thumbnails to work with, but... All right, so here is, here's Jones Avenue. Obviously I can't check uh, when the next streetcar is coming because I'm on the phone, but I gotta get back to Emily's message after this. This is Leslie Grove Park. Again, these nice, colorful, colorful uh, benches. Though I wouldn't mind the rainbow benches as well. I mean, even if it has nothing to do with pride or anything, but. If you like art, then you can definitely stick with that. It's another nice uh, mural here. Now I got three thumbnails. All right, I think Leslieville is at the next streetlight. So I'm gonna end things off there. Wait for the next streetcar. I go to this place. Detroit style pizza. <laughs> and I don't see anything coming up ahead, so I think I'm gonna be good. Though the streetcars here tend to come every 10 minutes, so I think the frequency could really be a lot better here. Maybe if it wasn't for that, for that freaking cockroach, Rick Leary, over at 1900 Young Street, things would be a lot better. Like, like, fuck. But no, 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 he's got to use, he's got to buy his own time just to make things worse. Yeah, what a lunatic. Got a partial old school uh, gas station here. I don't know if I noticed this before. I might have. Oh, yeah. Probably is. It probably isn't. Maybe it is uh, to. Uh, oh, yeah. It is. When was the last time I seen anything like this? All right, so Leslie Street coming up. I'm gonna wrap things up and hopefully it won't be too long. At least my fingers are not, are not uh, freezing just yet or getting numb. I just filmed a walk on Leslie Street last week. If this seems familiar to you. And there's the, uh, there's a stop. Very industrialized uh, south of here. I think that's the 31 bus, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't make sense to go 
doesn't make really, doesn't really make sense to go up to the subway and then then down. Doesn't matter though. I made a pretty good video and I'm happy with it. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, check out my iris as well. Now that I'm here away from uh, people, I can just do this now. Uh, oh yeah, now I see one coming. Hell yeah, I see one coming. So stay warm, stay safe, enjoy this beautiful day, enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks to those that, that uh, send donations and positive comments like always. It's, uh, they really do make my day. Alright guys, take care and peace out. Bye bye.